Hey Edna it's Katie here from our Risco Live Underwater Symbiosis lesson yesterday and I'm here with Evan and Noel to help answer the rest of your questions that we didn't get a chance to answer yesterday underwater. So without further ado, take it away. Jaden Year 5 asks, at what depth does coral grow? So Jaden wanted to know at what depth does coral grow and that's an awesome question because here in the Cayman Islands as well as other areas of the Caribbean Sea and in the Pacific Ocean, coral grows at almost all depths. If you guys go snorkeling, you may see it as shallow as like one foot of water or a couple inches um, that even get exposed at low tides sometimes. I know that happens here at Grape Tree Bay in front of CCMI. And then they go all the way down off of the Cayman Trench wall down to hundreds of feet deep. Now the corals do change. They look different when they're really shallow versus when you get really deep, but they're still corals and they can exist up to 300 to 500 meters deep. So, great question. Jaden's other question is why do stingrays swim so close to the seabed? <laughs> Jaden, your other question was why do stingrays swim so close to the seabed? And that's a cool question because, I mean, we see them pretty often and they're really cool to watch. Um, we see them on the seabed because if you remember the one that we saw yesterday on Reefs Go Live, it was kind of swimming along the sand, using its kind of wings to bring up sand around it. And what it's doing is it's trying to detect those tiny little bivalves or crustaceans, things like clams and mollusks and little shrimp that are underneath the sand. And then it's trying to bring them up out of the sand so that it can snatch them and eat them. Um, you do see them free swimming sometimes, but it's pretty rare because their food is not in the water column where we're swimming, it's down on the bottom in the sand. So I think that's it for you guys. Jaden, you had two great questions, so thanks for asking those. And um, I hope you guys will tune in today for our next Reefs Go Live on the lionfish and how it's a perfect invader. Other than that, thanks guys, and we'll see you soon.